Okay, okay. We are here in my kitchen. And we are working on planting some Norway spruce pine tree seeds. They're from CZ Grain. And they came on Amazon. And what I did first was I soaked the seeds in water for about two days. I think they said 24 hours. But maybe I went like 72. I don't know. So we're going to say two days. We're going to split the difference between actual and realistic. And then we put them on this wet paper towel. Folded it up and put it back in the refrigerator for about a month. And they are sprouting. And so I have been saving up lots of my K-cups. I've got some potting soil. I got it pretty good and wet. And now I'm just lining this bin. And this is a, um, let's see, what is this? This is the bin for like taking water clones or water cuttings. And it's supposed to have a little water air pump inside and it's supposed to keep the roots all dry. But I figured that would be a good little, uh, I think they're called geraniums. Uh, uh, basically a dome to keep moisture in. So I'm going to just see how many of these K-cups I can get in here. Like I said, there's 50 seeds, but I'm not so sure if they all germinated. So if I don't get all 50 in here, that's okay. If you listen closely, you can hear those 15 chickens in our basement. They're chirping quite a bit. So that's what I've got so far. All right, next I'm going to gently take these seeds And start by just placing them in. Some of them might get more than one. Some of the roots are a little bit grown together. Or maybe the seed just doesn't look that strong yet. Then I'm going to go back and bury them properly and then I will go ahead and water them well that one I just broke I'll water them well and then put that lid on this kind of reminds me of growing sprouts as a kid I used to grow sprouts for food and I've kind of forgotten about that until just now that was in like I don't know, second grade. And I always really liked sprouts and they were really easy to make. Pretty much the same thing, just get them wet, stick them in your refrigerator and forget about them for a while. Most likely I should be doing this with gloves on or using tweezers, but you know, for the ones that don't make it, I guess they didn't deserve to, to live if they weren't strong enough to touch my finger. All right, those ones are all done. I've got some more K-cups. Like I say, I've got this little tray here. I think it was the lid of a cake pan. Don't tell my wife. And I've got this Rubbermaid that I can use as a lid. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these up and do the same thing again with the remaining. There's a good chance I'm going to have to start drinking more coffee. I think I don't have quite enough K-cups for all the seeds I've got this year. 
I just recently, from a neighbor, received some special seeds. I'll show them in a minute. Check these things out. These are cut from a fruit called pawpaw. And I never realized that that's where Pawpaw, Michigan got its name from. This is otherwise known as the Michigan banana. It apparently grows that it kind of looks like a pear or an avocado. And it tastes like the mix between a mango and a banana. And it's kind of a, a fruit that like not everybody knows about. And it's one of those things that Hopefully this creates some trees. Hopefully this grows some fruit. And, uh, and we'll see. Apparently it takes about eight years for this to produce fruit. So, you know, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll check back with you in 10 years and see how these things taste. Anyway, I've got some more seeds to throw in here. They say this was 50, but I'm thinking that this was more than 50. So I guess props to that seed company for making sure that we have plenty of extras. Now as for what I do with a K cup, I just put my finger in there peel it apart and then in the bottom there's a filter material and I just peel that filter out and I've got a nice cup with a hole in the bottom for drainage that's all there is to it I've got a handful more I can do real quick I'll peel apart Well, that pretty much sums up about the rest of these seeds. There's a few that are left over. There's a few that haven't sprouted. So I'm just going to fold those back up and put them back in the fridge. When I get more K-cups, maybe I'll just throw them in the windowsill and see what happens. Okay, now I'm just going to tamp these down a little bit. And just make a little bit more room to sprinkle some extra soil on top. And then I'll water them very well. I'm gonna saturate them, each one of them. Just like that. Get them a good drink. Get the cap on. Do the same thing for these ones. And hopefully, maybe another week or two, these will start growing out of the soil. You know, as far as experimenting with this goes, I think it was like, I don't know, eight or $10 for these 50 seeds. And like I say, I believe there might be even more than 50. We'll see. But, you know, sometimes you can spend $20, $30 on a tree. And if... If any of these actually grow, it's going to be a win. My plan is these will be, you know, a deer bedding area or a wind block. But then again, we can also harvest one every once in a while for Christmas time. 
that saves money. We won't have to buy any trees. We normally do like a fake one, but if we had a good high quality tree right out back, I definitely wouldn't mind going and getting one. I thought about too, it'd be kind of cool for Christmas to have a tree and a planter. Just bring it inside for a little while, a couple days, have Christmas, and put it back out on the deck. See, see what happens, you know. Pretty much everything I do is just see what happens. So that only used, you know, like that much dirt. It's not bad. I'm gonna give these all a good drink. Make sure they're good and soaked. Get these lids on them. And they're good to go for a while. Well, you can see the LED lights there and the reflection. I've got the rest of these here all under cover. Good and saturated. I won't keep them that wet forever. But for now, while they're getting used to the uh, new environment, I've got them good and wet. We're also right next to the pellet stove. And you can hear the chickens in the background. We got an everyday all around farm in the basement. And they're just doing their thing in there. <laughs> 